Southwest Florida has a special place in the history of 9-11. Among the most well known is the fact that President George W. Bush was in Sarasota with kids at an elementary school as he found out about the attacks. NBC 2's Paul Gessler had a chance to sit down with some of those kids who on that day were witnesses to history. <laughs> yeah, because they made us have to go to school earlier that day because we had to get checked by security. I remember seeing like just like security go in and out, in and out, in and out. Brian Valadez and Mariah Williams never thought they'd be talking about that day a decade later. It is a while back. I lost a lot of memory. Of course, <laughs> Brian and Mariah didn't ask for their place in history. They are two of 16 kids in Kay Daniels second grade classroom. And she's getting professional pictures of us taking for senior pictures. For real? Yes. Pick to read to President George W. Bush. My pet goat. <laughs> to me, it's almost as if it happened yesterday. It doesn't even feel like it's been 10 years. Defense! Defense! Natalia Jones Pinckney was there too, now a cheerleader at Southeast High School near Bradenton. All those kids, now seniors in high school, spread across nine different schools. We had this connection that I guess nobody could ever like, understand. The image most replayed from that classroom, they don't even remember. Students were getting settled with their books when the president's chief of staff told him America was under attack. So we didn't get to see him whisper in the president's ear. We only got to see the solemn face that he had after we looked up. Still kind of fresh in a way, because like when I walk by the school, I just like, that memory just pops up. That's something I just can't forget. May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. Bush's visit was cut short. Remember uh, when the president left, uh, they made us go in that yeah, room? But the Booker family remained. I sit there and watch the TV. Sit there and watch TV. We were there for like, what, two hours, an hour? Miss Daniels' tears drove the lesson home. I think it became serious for us then when she cried, because then we knew something was really wrong. Whether they liked it or not, Booker had reserved a spot in America's history books. At the beginning, it was fine, but then when that happened, I just wish that like that day was never there. But that day was there, and so was their connection. Today, or 50 years from now. And they were trying to tell us what terrorists was, and none of us knew what terrorists was. They'll always be seven-year-old kids in Miss Daniels' class. In Sarasota, Paul Gessler, NBC2.